Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, in whichever time you're watching this. Welcome to SSC Sikkim Static and Current, your one page for everything about Sikkim. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, five facts about 14th Dalai Lama. Today is 6th of July, it is his 87th birthday. Uh, Dalai Lama ko 87th birthday ko palakshama. Uh, we are bringing at SSC Sikkim five facts about 14th Dalai Lama, diving deep into his life so let us proceed but before moving forward if you have not subscribed to SSC Sikkim please subscribe to the news because Sikkim specific channel if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel subscribe so let us proceed the first fact uh, Dalai Lama Tenzin Gyatso was born as Lama Dhondup on July 6, 1935 to a pigeon family in northeastern Tibet. There is an akuma yo bramcha ki wahan ko naam Dalai Lama ho. Wahan ko naam Dalai Lama hoi na. Wahan ko naam Tenzin Gyatso ho. Jo tabele tasveer maan dekhna ho daisha. Ra wahan 14th Dalai Lama ho nuncha. Dalai Lama wahan ko upadhi ho. But his real name is Tenzin Gyatso. And he was born as Lama Dhondup. Okay. Ra wahan 1935 maan yoda pigeon family maan Tibet maan jamanu bhai ko. Ra wahan lai dui barsha ko umer maan. Uh, he was found by Tibetan monks, okay, and he passed all the tests and had the physical traits of the reincarnation of the 13th Dalai Lama. Waha 14th Dalai Lama Ononsa, Waha Banda Agadi Jo 13th Dalai Lama Onontio, Waha Ku reincarnation ko roop ma tibetan monks hetle wahan lai dekhnu bha mahaj dui barsha ko umer ma okay dui barsha ko umer me wahan lai reincarnate uh, gare ko 13th Dalai Lama bane ra chini sakke pachhi uh, at the age of uh, 4 he was enthroned okay 4 barsha ke umer ma tenjing gyat cho lai 14th Dalai Lama ko roop ma enthroned gari ho okay yota lasa ma uh, jo tibet ma cha yota ceremony ma ra 6 barsha ko umer ma cha wahan yota sanyasi honu Okay, he became monk at the age of six. Okay, he was found at the age of two. He took the throne at the age of four, and he became monk at the age of six. Next, uh, there is Janalai uh, Yukura Yatsena. He was even awarded Nobel Peace Prize in 1989 okay so 14th dalai lama tenjing gyatso he was awarded nobel peace prize in 1989 kekulagi for his work advocating non-violent means to free tibet from china so china the key tibet life free ground ko lagi chai wahan le non-violent wahan le ahinsa apnaunu bhai ko thiyo okay wahan le hinsa ma kaili bishwas garnu bhai na of course because he was a monk so for this he was given nobel peace prize in 19 89 okay the 1959 dekhi eta waha india ma onuncha because uh, he was in exile okay tibet dekhi waha exile ma onu ba ra uh, kina banda kheri chai tibet ma jab tiyo protest hundai thiyo tethi bela chai chinese army le tiyo uprising lai dabaun da kheri chai uh, dalai lama exile ma aayra chai 1959 dekhi eta india ma basnu hundai cha okay and in 1989 he was got nobel prize okay next he has a variety of hobbies. His favorite activities includes meditating, gardening, and repairing watches. Of course, he would meditate because he is a monk. Gardening is a hobby or repairing watches. Of course, it is a strange hobby that you can repair the watches. And talking about his meditating habits, he is a monk who is a monk who is a monk and he meditates during night and he wakes up at 3 a.m. and meditates meditates in the morning as well and then the uh, so afternoon time match he gives discourses so this is his uh, routine of meditation and he even repair watches and he even do gardening next he is said to be the manifestation of bodhisattva of compassion who has chosen to reincarnate to serve people first of all bodhisattva baneko ke ho yo kura ta bhai le bujhna jaruri cha kune pani vyakti tapai le yacha jun buddhism ma jun jivan mukta avastha maninchha tesla nirvan baninchha ra jo vyakti nirvan ko lagi eligible bhai sakeko cha but still he chose to uh, serve people okay but still he chose to remain in this world yadi uh, Nirvan ko lagi eligible by sakera pani uh, because of compassion of people, okay. Uh, jun mani sirko prati uh, jo dukha dekhera, jun maya le garda khiri chai, he uh, chooses to stay in the world, okay, to serve the people. Testo vyakti lai chai, bodhi sattva pai ko vyakti manen cha. And Dalai Lama is said to be a manifestation of bodhi sattva of compassion, okay. And he is the uh, 74th manifestation of avalokiteshwara bodhi sattva.
टिबेटियंस रेफर टू हिम एज येसे नोर्बू टिबेटियंस वहाँ लेसे नोर्बू भूँ द विच फिल फुलफिलिंग जेम ओके येसे नोर्बू विच फुलफिलिंग जेम हो रुंदुन भी भाई कुंदुन को इट मीन्स प्रेजेन्स ओके नेक्स्ट He has continuously emphasized his desire to see Tibet democratized. तब पहले आते हैं जो Tibet it is still a part of China. रा दलाई लामा को योड़ा इच्छा था कि जो Tibet था तो उसे free भाग को ये न वहाँ चाहना होना चाहिए. And he has publicly declared that once the Tibetans are capable of achieving independence from the Chinese government, he will not hold political office. Because we all know that the 14th Dalai Lama Ononsa, he is also the head of Tibetan government right now. Okay, wah political head pani Ononsa, religious leader Onu ko saath saathe. Tera once Tibet China wada free Onsa, he has said that he will leave all his political posts and then he will continue to travel and spread his message of religious and cultural tolerance and peace so uh, this was the five facts about 14th dalai lama i hope the video was informative video informative lagyo bhane ss sikkim like like share and subscribe garnu na birsinu hola